Here's a little video on how I set up the solo shot. I learned some of these tips from the guys at the solo shot headquarters, so I'm just from using it uh, over the past year or two with surfing. So I hope the video helps you guys. Tripod, get that going. Get this out of here. Set it up. You do it in the parking lot so that you can start it up. And it's best if you let it warm up in the parking lot while you're doing it. Crank it down. This guy right here. Just crank it. Get it nice and tight. Turn it on in the parking lot while you're getting ready so that it warms up. Because the longer it warms up, the better it's going to track. So the guys told me you want to let it warm up maybe five or ten minutes so I always turn it on in the parking lot and then by the time I set up the board get everything done go out it's already warmed up the bag I put everything in I have a external power drive that I plug in while the solo shots up which gives me maybe five to four or five hours of life this thing has about one and a half two hours life this gives me probably another two hours so I could be out there for like a three or four hour session so just throw that in there. Lock up the solar shot with. It's a, it's a S key. And I got a little towel. You gotta have a little hand towel to wipe it off, turn it off, and then I'll show you. I wrap the camera, take it off, so it's, you take it off, so it's easier to transport back and forth. So I'll show you guys how I do it. There you go, I got the bag, camera, board. Okay, so this is probably the most important part. I'm gonna set it up on that tower over there. So you wanna start the tag about 20 feet away from where you're gonna set up your tripod. So you take the tag and you turn it on and let it warm up 20 feet away from where you're gonna set up the tripod. This needs to warm up and get like a GPS location. And there's a little, see that arrow sign that has a cross through it? Once that cross is, once the cross isn't there anymore, then it's ready to, to track. So you let this sit here, go set up your tripod, do what you gotta do over there. It takes about five minutes for this to get a location. And then once, it's, once that arrow's gone, you can go back over to the tripod and start tracking. Once it's done spinning and tracking, it's gonna, if it's a good track, it'll point back right here to, the, to where you turned it on at. So we're going to set up the tripod and then I'll, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I got the tripod set up. I hooked my bag on here to give it a little weight to hold the camera down so if it gets windy it'll shake. So hooking that bag up pulls it down and gives it a little weight. I hooked the uh, thing the lifeguard tower. This is going to click in here. And then now, that's a set up. Tags already selected there, so put that track water, and once it starts spinning, you dock it. So you gotta wait, dock it. Why don't you show that? And then it'll calibrate. And once it's done. It's going to point back where we started the tag. So. And if it points back to there, it's a good lock on the tag. If it doesn't point back to there, you got to start all over and do it again. Which means you turn off the tag, turn off the base, Turn the base back on only, 
let that warm up for two minutes, walk back over to where the surfboard is, and then turn on the tag. That's how you start it all over again. I always turn on the base first, and then turn on the tag. I think it helps. What I think it does is, I think the base knows where the tag's at, and when you manually calibrate it, it, it sinks better. So, it says success. Now what you do, what I do, is I grab the tag and I'll walk directly back. And if it finds me, which looks like it's doing, because the light's on, you got a good lock. And I do the walkabout like this and make sure that it finds me. If it's following me, it's a good lock. And it looks like it's following me. Because the light's on. If the light wasn't on, it wouldn't be a good track. So now what I do, is I walk around this beach, I walk 20 feet that way, 20 feet that way, once it has a good lock, I'll strap on the armband. Come on, sir. Good to go. That's my tutorial for the day. Real quick picture of how it looks once it's all locked in. So you lock in your thing. I have my external power drive because I'm playing on surfing a lot. That hooks up to there. So it shows that it's charging. It's facing the board. I'm ready to go.